State of the Rays. The broadcast begins in 10 seconds. WDBC Internet Television is on. I'm an avatar for Michael P. Borgia. The broadcast, originating from deep behind enemy lines is brought to you by DailyBorg.com. Conservative politics for the thoughtful. Resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. There is a lot of different spin being perpetrated by many different people about the state of the election. Some of it is valid. Some of it is garbage. Tonight on the broadcast. We'll separate fact from fiction. And we'll begin when the broadcast continues in one minute. Hands can do incredible things. Now they can even help save a life with hands-only CPR. If you see an adult suddenly collapse, just call 911, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Learn more at handsonlycpr.org. What if I didn't come from a famous family? What if I didn't have all their support? What if I didn't have all these opportunities? Believe me, it wouldn't be pretty. Pause before you play. We're back. I think one of the most common spins being put out by the media and the candidates is that Mitt Romney has no clear path to the 1,132 delegates he needs to clinch the Republican nomination. We say that's a whole lot of nonsense. Even with proportional representation, Romney holds a majority of the delegates selected thus far. After April 1st, most states will be winner-take-all. Since Romney has won the most states, if he continues to win at his current pace, he will easily cross the finish line by the time the primaries end in June. Here is spin item number two. The Senate is now certain to remain in Democratic control. That's based on the idea that Bob Kerry is going to save Nebraska and that a Republican cannot win Maine. But Kerry is showing support in that race only in the low 30s. And while a Republican might not win Maine, it's not likely a Democrat will either. If the election were held today, Republicans would lose seats in Maine and possibly Nevada. They would gain in North Dakota, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Montana, Florida and Missouri. That at minimum would give Republicans a 51 to 47 majority, some others are spinning that Democrats have spun victory from disaster in the payroll tax fight and the contraception battle and will ride it to victory in November, but that's mostly spin. The raw data does not support that. Since those two battles were fought, the president's approval ratings are down. He is running behind nominated Republicans, something that is ordinarily unheard of. Republicans have a six-point lead on the House generic ballot and will likely add to their House majority, not lose it. In fact, Democratic ratings are falling among two groups they just cannot lose, women and Catholics. So while the media is trying to portray a picture of a public quickly fed up with a brief infatuation with Republicans and the Tea Party, they are facing one crucial no-spin truth. The raw data says something else. We'll be back with heroes and zeros in a moment. I didn't see you come in. Yeah, most people don't. Who are you? Oh, I'm depression, and I've come for you. <laughs> I'm not depressed. Oh, you're not. What about schizophrenia? No. Anxiety disorders? Uh-uh. Uh, eating or mood disorders? No and no. Oh, my mistake. It's next Tuesday that you lose your job and your boyfriend leaves you. <sighs> my uncle called, speech all slurred, complaining his arms numb. He called everyone. He even called my daughter Tierra because she's got a year of nursing. <laughs> everyone thinks he needs to go to the doctor, including me. So he said, well, will you take me? I'm like, I'm on the road. He goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love have symptoms of stroke, don't wait. It may be too late. Dial 911. We're back. 
This week's hero is former Colts quarterback Peyton Manning. Not many people will take getting fired and losing $29 million graciously. Yet that's exactly what Manning did this week. He showed no bitterness or anger. Only love for the Colts and adoration for the fans who adored him for years. Peyton Manning leaves Indianapolis a champion, and a hero. This week's zero is former featherweight champion Juan Manuel Lopez. After being knocked out for a second time by Orlando Salado, Juan Ma promptly placed blame on the referee. The fight was stopped with Lopez barely able to stand up after a crushing two-punch combination put him down for nine. The referee wisely stopped the fight. Lopez in a post-fight interview claimed the referee stopped the fight because he had a gambling issue. Perhaps Juan Ma was still punch drunk after his defeat. That referee likely saved his life. That's not a gambling problem. That's just a lack of class. You have been assimilated.